looked like that he hung himself up on there, but he spit at me. So then I lit him up. I told him what was going to happen. I was waiting for one of the house guys to come by with the barrel. See, at lunchtime, they come by with the barrel for your tray. I was trying to con one of them and, hey, turn your back. I need to get something out of the barrel, but he wouldn't do it. I was going to stick him in a barrel, but rigor mortis kicked in. Couldn't do it. Do I have remorse for this? No. Am I on a suicide mission? No. My thing is, I'm not throwing this out as a threat. It is what it is. If you guys give me life, Sooner or later, I have to go to population. I'm not Armstrong. I'll sign any kind of waiver you want beforehand, whatever's legal, saying I will not appeal this death penalty. Wash my hands with it. Send me to Sussex. But if I get life, I'll end up in population sooner or later. Someone's going to get it. I ain't going to be an inmate. I don't give a rat's ass if a fucking nun went by. I ain't going to do it half-ass like Lamont Douglas or the other clowns did. Now, you guys take that off. Wallens Ridge could have present, uh, prevented a death. My fault. It's my fault. The only remorse I have, my kids got to deal with their father being a scumbag. But since I got messed with, the only way to prevent me from fucking taking someone else out is to get the death penalty. Do I deserve the death penalty? Damn right it is. Your law states premeditation, inmate killing. There's a lot more that's going to be said on this stand when it does go to trial. If it wasn't for my kids, I'd, I'd take Lonnie's deal. Lonnie says it's second degree with no time. You ain't sweeping this underneath there. And I do have contacts with my club through media, not the one that the Dean of Potter we're talking about. I was like, I want this to be known. It was premeditated. And you guys can do to me to hurt me. Nothing. But there's something you guys can do to prevent someone else from getting hurt. It's, your, it, it's on you. You know what I mean? It's on you guys. Put the death back on. Let the jury hear it and go with it. After that's over with, I'll be cuffed everywhere I go at Sussex. Leave me alone. I'm going to push this to go through all, right away. It might be a couple of years. But I can't guarantee nothing will happen to another, another staff member. That's my word. Take that for whatever you think it's worth. I wrote a letter for this guy's family. You know what I mean? By, yeah, you guys may think he's crazy. But you know what? He couldn't help it. I did everything I could to not to kill this man. But when he played games, I planned it. You know what I mean? Was I was taunting him. Yeah, it's coming. All these rules you should have went by, it's coming, Holmes. I even gave him a cigarette. Like, here you go, compadre. Enjoy that motherfucker. Well, I got no remorse for it. Zero. Let me ask you a question if you want to answer it and you don't have to. If you had a chance today to prevent another death, wouldn't you do it? You don't have to answer it, but if you'd, if you'd say no... I'd call you a liar. You know, here's your chance for one death that shouldn't have happened. You have a chance to stop another one. I feel justice would be served for that man because that man shouldn't have been in, in my cell. No matter what he did in his past, someone should have helped him. What you just heard was a guy named Robert Charles Gleason Jr. And I don't know how much more brutal you can get than that. This guy here, uh, as you just heard, uh, wanted the death penalty and he got it. But first all, uh, give you some of the background here uh robert gleason jr was born april 10th 1970 uh, he was executed uh january 16 2013 he was 42 years old anyway his three victims that he killed was one michael kent Jam Jamerson Harvey Gray Watson Jr. and Aaron Alexander Cooper. Now, 
What had happened in 2008, Gleason was sentenced to life in, uh, for a 2007 murder of Michael Jamerson uh, on May 8th, 2007 in Amherst County, Virginia. What had happened was Gleason had shot Jamerson to cover up this is an involvement in a drug gang thing, but uh, from what I dug up, he shot him four or five times in the face, and it, I think it was just over 250 bucks. Well, he was sent in, uh, in 2009, he was sent to Wallens Ridge, yeah, Wallens Ridge State Penitentiary. While he was there, Gleason got mad because the jailers would not move a in a new inmate, a new celly uh, that was severely mentally ill, whose name was Harvey Gray Watson Jr. He was 63, and and Gleason told Gleason told him said you need to get him out of here. I'm gonna kill him. Well. Jellers thought he, I guess, was full of shit. So guess what? <laughs> On August, uh, uh, now Watson was doing a hundred-year sentence anyway for murder back in uh, '83. He was charged for it, but Gleason just had enough of it, and he hogtied Watson, beat him. Strangled the 63-year-old inmate, and the next morning, when the jailers made the rounds, he told them, you need to get him out of here. So, when Gleason went in front of the judge, he asked for the death penalty. They denied it. Now, this is in Virginia. So, he basically told them he's going to kill again until he gets the death penalty. Well, they moved him to what they called the Red Onion State prison, which was a real high security prison, what they call level five, you know, the most dangerous inmates. Well, as you see here, these dog kennel cages, that's their wreck. They walk in between them. Well, Gleason <laughs> strangled a 26-year-old Aaron Cooper on July 28, 2010, as you see right here through that fence and killed him in the wreck yard, or what they call their wreck yard. Cooper was serving a 34-year uh, thirty-four sentence for robbery. Well, Gleason finally got the death penalty given to him when he went in front of him. You heard what he said. He wasn't going to, he wasn't going to do no appeals or anything. Well, in the state of Virginia, Tennessee's the only other one that's got electrocution. Virginia's about done away with it. But in the state of Virginia at that time, especially, if you wanted the death penalty, you got to choose what, between lethal injection or electrocution. Of course, you can imagine what Mr. Gleason chose. Electrocution. So, he was put to death. Here in uh, Greensville Corrections uh, Correctional Center in uh, Jared, uh, Jared, Virginia, by electrocution, he was sentenced to death on September 6, 2011. But his execution date in, carried out on January 16, 2013. He was 42 years old. Guys, I tell you, as a man of his word, something else. Well, I just had to throw that one in there. Take care, God bless, and be careful out there.